This is a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine. Jonah was a sandlot slugger. He was the best player in our neighborhood baseball league, which is a good thing, because he lived for the sport. I mean, really lived for it. Jonah ate, breathed, slept, even drank baseball. There was nothing he'd rather do in his whole life than play a game of baseball, which was a good thing, too, because his team was headed straight for the interleague championship. And the great thing was, Jonah's parents couldn't have been happier. He never saw them more excited. They were even more excited about it than he was. No other parents came close to being as dedicated and supportive as Jonah's mom and dad. Okay, so it was the week before the big game. Jonah went to bed early because there was a practice in the morning. But in the middle of the night, Jonah woke up. He was hearing strange noises. He followed the noise, tiptoeing down the stairs and into the basement. That's when he saw something he never noticed. Light. Some sort of eerie, scary kind of light. He could see it through those tiny holes in the pegboard walls of Dad's workshop. There was a room back there. A room that Jonah never saw before. And Mom and Dad were back there. A secret room? Why would they keep it a secret from him? Jonah tried to get a peek. But there was something on the other side of the wall blocking his view. Whatever was going on, his folks were real intense about it. So the next day, when his parents were at work, Jonah snuck down the stairs to the basement. All he had to do was find the door to the secret room. He poked around Dad's workbench. There must be a hidden lever, just like on TV. He tried turning things, pressing secret buttons under the bench, but nope. Jonah headed up the stairs and stopped to turn out the light. That's when he noticed his old T-ball plaque was crooked. He leaned over, straightened it, and he heard a creaking sound. He turned around just in time to see a door swing open. A secret door. And behind it was a secret workshop. It was a long, low room filled with workbenches and its shiny machines. There were drill presses, computers, and all kinds of stuff. Kind of reminded him of an old Frankenstein movie he saw on TV. And trophies. But whose trophies? Jonah had no idea that his dad ever won anything. He was supposed to be the champion of the family. But sitting there in front of him was a whole big display case stuffed with silver trophies and things. Jonah kept exploring. Then he turned the corner and saw them. Robots, all lined up in glass cases. The first one was a Mark I. It looked like a robot from a science fiction movie, but some of the wiring was ripped out. The Mark II was better. Not really human, but closer. It looked kind of like a doll. Jonah opened the case and poked at it. It had a hard plastic skin and hair, but its wiring was gone too. The Mark III was even better. It had rubber skin and the eyes almost looked real. But you know what? It had the same wiring problem. There was an empty space where the next robot should be. The robot that should have been there, I guess it was the Mark IV, was missing. But on the workbench, there was something under a sheet. Jonah switched on the light. There were plans that read, Mark Five. He pulled back the sheet. A Mark V robot looked just like him. There were a few parts lying around. It was almost finished. And that's when Jonah realized that he was the Mark IV robot. And the Mark V was his replacement. A baseball playing championship winning robot. Hey, it's a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine, Jonah. Yeah, he plays baseball every chance he gets, and he still practices baseball all day. But at night, he practices sabotage.